probably need some dry shampoo this morning. So I'm just gonna try to use my viewfinder as a mirror. And I really don't know how well this is gonna go. But welcome to the vlog. Good morning. This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound and we're gonna talk all about that a little bit later on. I just really wanna try to make today a good productive day. So where I left you guys, was in New York. We are obviously back home now. Man, so I got sick in New York and I came home and it was spring break. So I've had a full house all week and I've been sick and it just like really put me behind on work. Like I wanna be better at getting uploads up quicker for you guys, but it just was not happening. This is my first time being sick with having a baby and thankfully like it wasn't too big of a deal like it was just a head cold but still not a lot of fun yesterday this sweet boy really wasn't napping until the end of the day and then he took an hour and a half long nap which was great because i was able to get so much done during that nap but he's got some stuff going on um so we'll see how he's doing today and how much work we're able to get done but i would love to edit the youtube video that's going live before this one i still haven't packed or still haven't packed i still haven't edited the new york vlog um there's some stuff around the house i need to obviously do my short form content and i actually should we talk i wasn't even planning on talking about this i really want to look at my hair in the mirror because i'm sure it looks i think it's just still greasy i did get my hair done on Friday, how many days ago was that? Three days ago. My birthday is this week, but obviously the whole fam wasn't gonna be together this week, so my man booked me a hair appointment, which was so nice that I was able to get my hair done, and we just did like a little celebration, the six of us, including the dogs, um, since we won't be together this week. So my hair is very red, in case. You noticed and i have not put anything in it since i went to the salon so it's needing a little love this dry shampoo will last me probably today and tomorrow and then i'm gonna wash it not that anyone cares i just feel like i haven't talked to you guys in a while so that's that's my update on the hair i did put it a little bit shorter too um and i shortened the front the the front face framing pieces. I can't talk and I really just don't even like my voice right now. And yes, I look like Kim Possible because this is like the easiest outfit for me to put together. Like it always looks good. Baby boy is down for his first nap already and I'm really hoping this is gonna be a good nap for him. I'm shooting for an hour. We've kind of been averaging like 35 minutes, but I, I think he can nap for an hour today. So I'm gonna get some work done. I already posted one thing to TikTok. It wasn't even a video, but there's a trend going around right now with like two photos and it's the bump and then the baby. So I just shared that. And then I have an idea on what I wanna film today for at least one of the videos. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what my last one is gonna be, but I'll figure it out. What I talked about a little bit, or I didn't even, I just said, am I gonna talk about, anyway. Last night I was up until 10 o'clock and I was doing a little bit of research, keyword research, as well as just like taking a look at other creators and what they were doing with their short form video strategy. And I got this notification last month for the Instagram bonuses program, which they did a few years ago and then they stopped and then apparently they brought it back. I don't know, I never had access to it a few years ago. So when I got the notification, I obviously signed up. I was like, oh my gosh, like hell yes, if I can make some money off Instagram, this is great. And then all month, it didn't say like any bonuses active. Like I could go in and I could see the bonus section and it would be like no bonus active. And then I got notif another notification late last night and it's funny because I had just watched this TikTok about manifesting money and within like 10 minutes, I got this notification that like another Instagram bonus was available. And I was like, we're signing up for that, obviously. And once I signed up for it, it said past bonuses, I made $17 last month. 
but if you don't hit the $25 mark, you don't make any money. I didn't realize though that the bonus was still happening because I couldn't see it. Like it never then appeared once I signed up. So now I'm fully signed up for this month, the bonus period. And I'm really hoping that it's gonna turn into something. You can make up to $30,000. I did average out how much I made last month compared to my views to figure out what my CPM, slash like RPM, was, and it was eight cents. So then I did all these calculations and I was like, how many views would I need to get to make this much money? And I was like, and who, I don't even really know how the bonus program works. And I don't think it's just like a flat RPM, CPM type thing, but I am going to be posting a lot more on Instagram this month is the goal. And then also I was thinking about it, the TikTok, not the TikTok, the YouTube RPM is higher than the Instagram bonuses situation that I calculated that isn't even like fact, but I uh, really need to do better at consistently uploading to YouTube. And then I was taking a look at another TikToker that has a YouTube and like what they're doing and they uploaded 63, no, I think it was more than that, right? Because they were, they were averaging two to three videos a day uploaded to YouTube and the success that they're having is like insane. So I, I'm changing my strategy a little bit because I have been doing really, really well with being consistent on TikTok and uploading three TikToks a day, except for this past week because I was sick and the house was full and everything. So I was just like, minimum do one a day, Catherine. Like you can do one a day. But now I'm like really trying to get back to it and I want to try to upload minimum one short a day on YouTube, but I'm gonna try to do two shorts a day on YouTube and see what happens because I am seeing a growth in followers and especially my short form content i feel like it's just like really aligned with the direction that i want to go topic wise like it's not like i only want to do short form content but i just feel like it's really aligned with that direction so i'm gonna try that and i'm gonna see like how much i can make with instagram bonuses this month because i want to hit that minimum 25 dollars threshold like if i would have known that i would have been more consistent with my instagram uploads i missed several days i don't even think i uploaded I think I uploaded like maybe twice, or not twice, 12 pieces of content the last month. I don't even know. I would have to go back and check. But anyway, I wanna work on this YouTube video and I wanna show you guys Epidemic Sound, what they've done to the platform because they just did like a whole revamp. I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram, but they just like removed all of their posts and went a little bit kind of cryptic there and they dropped like a new design. It's still very much the same flow navigation. So it's what we're really used to, but it does look a little bit different and they continue to change the features included in the platform. So I wanna show you guys that. If you guys have no idea what Epidemic Sound is, I feel like a lot of you do because I talk about Epidemic Sound all the time. I've been working with them for four, five, years at this point, it's been a while, but they are a restriction free sound effect and music platform. So any of the music you hear with my videos that is coming from Epidemic and any sound effects as well that is coming from Epidemic Sound. So we'll talk about them in a bit. I do need to do the first rough cut of this video and I need to make some progress on this video while he is napping. Fingers crossed to everyone, please cross your fingers that this is gonna be a good nap. I don't even know how long he's been asleep for at this point, but all I did was put the bottles away and then I've talked to you guys, so. Maybe it's been like 10, 15 minutes. I also got this huge thing so that I only have to drink one of these a day and I'm not constantly going over there or like avoiding filling up my water. And this has forced me to drink more water, which has been great with being sick. That ended up being about a half hour long nap. I've been stretching it a little bit because he wasn't upset. So I was like, maybe I'll just like hang out and potentially fall asleep. No, that didn't happen. And he's not upset yet, but I can tell he's starting to get bored. So I, I don't know, I'm like 12 minutes into the video. So I'm not at a bad spot within like the first rough edit. I was just really hoping but let's go get my baby. We're gonna start with a 
biggest product, which is my diaper pail. Are you done? The moment you've talked enough, I'm done. This isn't a necessity, but it is something I would recommend putting on your registry. We use it all the dang time. All my dry shampoo is rubbed in, is it? I just put some more on and I touched up my hair because we're gonna film something together, aren't we? He took the tiniest little cat nap in the world, shorter than the nap earlier. So I'm glad I decided to just touch up my hair in that nap instead of trying to get any work done. Huh. But now, sir, roly poly oly mister. <laughs> we are gonna film. Man, I'm just having too much fun with content recently. Obviously, Kim Possible, I put him in an outfit that matches Ron. So we're gonna do like the Kim Possible intro and film a cutesy little video. Sometimes I'm like, this is what I do for work. Like this, this is my job. And it is. <laughs> My thought was after that piece of content, we were gonna get out of the house for the day. Like both of us are dressed, let's go. But he really, really needs a nap. Like this boy is so incredibly sleepy and he's just not sleeping. So I actually put him back in footy pajamas and we're just hanging out on the bed for a little before we go down. But that is my last short form video of the day that I need to do. I just need to figure out uploading to all of the other platforms what I'm gonna do. I actually had a reel already go up on Instagram and I had a short a schedule to go up on YouTube. So like I'm good, but I wanna do cross posting. Specifically the baby product video that I filmed. I wanna see if I can upload that to Instagram. I don't know if there's a cap on the length of videos on Instagram. I only ever abide by like the 90 second reel, but this one is like a five minute long video. So I'm like, can I upload that? I think I can, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna figure that out once this guy is down for a snap, but I'm gonna focus on him a little bit and hopefully I'll see you guys at my freaking computer because I wanna edit. <laughs> slight headache from the day. I know it's just because I haven't drank nearly enough water. So I just filled this thing up because I didn't even fill it up at the start of the day. That was my mistake. So I just filled this up and I'm gonna try to drink as much as I can before it's my bedtime. I put him down maybe, honestly, only like 15 minutes ago at this point and this should be his bedtime, but I'm not sure. He just like was not napping today and then he was exhausted. And I was like, let's just do bedtime and we'll see how this goes. If he wakes up, no big deal. But I am at the point within my video where I get to go to Epidemic Sound and I'm so excited for this today because I'm having a little bit of fun with my transitions in the New York vlog and I hope it turns out the way I want it to turn out, but I'm mixing my short form content with my long form content. So my vertical content with my horizontal content basically. And I think it's gonna be really cute, but it's funny as I'm doing this intro right now, all I'm thinking of is welcome to New York. And obviously that's not a song I can use. So let's hop on Epidemic and I wanna see what they have and if they have anything New York themed. I feel like they might, but I just don't know. Okay, here we go, here we go. So this, if you guys have used Epidemic Sound in the past or if you have heard me talk about Epidemic, this is gonna look very familiar to you because like I said, they didn't really change the navigation of the site. It's just more so this. Look how fun this is. This is so much fun. They even have like different like goofy moments. I feel like I've never seen that one before. Up at the top, music. Again, they changed all of these graphics here. So you can go about finding your music in a couple of different ways through Epidemic Sound if you know specifically the vibe that you are going for or the genre that you're going for. So if you're going for like a happy vibe, you can go down here, click on happy, and this is going to pull all the tracks that down here, they're like kind of classified based on their mood. So any that have happy as their classification, they will appear within this section. You can also decide, okay, I want something that's more R&B, soul, 
disco, I've never once used disco, but like R&B is something that I do go to sometimes. And you can just scroll down through. I will take a look at like the hopeful, laid back, happy, because there's sometimes like suspenseful thrown in there, sentimental, dreamy, and that will give you a little bit more of a direction so you're not just listening to every single track to try to find what you want. One of the things that I have done is, I'm sorry, my computer is gonna sound like it is blasting off into space and also the sun is setting on me here so it's getting darker. Within the saved section, I do have playlists here and I know I have shared this with you guys in the past, but this is my trick to finding music faster on Epidemic Sound. So Epic Shit, for example, if we click on this, these, this plus sign means that it is added to a playlist but this download sign shows you when it was last downloaded, which I personally love because like I haven't used this in over a year. So I could use this again and I don't think really people are going to remember it compared to if I just used a song, I'm gonna wait a couple of months to reuse it. I'd like to try to find fresh new music. But anyways, this is curated. Like I have added all these songs and then down in the bottom, they give you suggested tracks based off of what is already in the playlist. So if you have a general vibe you're going for and you're like, oh, I already have a playlist saved. I've got this one. I've got calm rainy day vibes. I've got fun vibes. I can just go in here, go to the suggested section and it's most likely gonna populate something that I'm going to enjoy. What I specifically want to do now though, is I'm gonna search for music and I'm just gonna type in New York and I'm curious, New York Chase, explore New York with John Hitt. Let's see what comes up. Okay, see I saw that it said jazz and I was like, I don't think I'm really going for jazz and that's right, I'm not going for that. You know what I do wanna, I'm gonna go to vocals. I wanna see if there is a song that has New York related vocals. That's actually a really good song. I'm gonna heart that one. Okay, I'm adding this to Epic Shit. And that's the thing, when I'm like looking for a song and I find other songs I like, that's when I put them in the playlist because then it's easy for me to go back to later if I am looking for something like that song. Okay, there's something about that that makes me feel like New York. I don't know what it is, but I don't think that's gonna be my intro song. I have another idea of where that transition's gonna go. Give me a second because I have a few clips here that I want to, I was specifically waiting until I found a song that I liked for me to like really organize my thoughts on this and like the placement of these videos. So this is gonna take me a little, a little bit. <laughs> too dang cute the first nine seconds of this video it never ceases to amaze me at how just taking like i don't even know maybe that was i don't even think that was 20 minutes i think that was maybe 15 minutes to find that song and edit this cute little nine second intro to the video how much of a difference that makes. Like when you properly soundtrack your content, I really do notice a big difference in my own enjoyment of my content when I find the right music to soundtrack it. The way it is getting so dark. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if you have not given Epidemic Sound a try yet, I'm gonna include a link in the description where you can get access to a seven day free trial where you can start soundtracking your freaking content. I actually gotta spend some more time on Epidemic, obviously, because I've got more B-roll sections within this video. And I downloaded that one other song, so I know I have one that I think is gonna work. So I've got two B-roll sections here. That should be another one, three B-roll. Oh gosh, four. Well, I need a lot more music than I thought because I then got five, six. I might end up doing like one song continues from one section to the next section. I gotta figure it out. 
this is a longer vlog than I've had recently, so I got a lot more things that I need to include within it. that TikTok and I started and then he woke up and I didn't think I was going to be able to come back out here so I was like you know what let's just scrap this idea for this TikTok because quite frankly I was doing the TikTok because my computer decided to be really slow and then like one video like the file wouldn't load for some reason and it was just being weird and I was like you know what let's just jump to a different platform like continue to be productive let's jump to a different platform <sighs> ended up getting him back to sleep. I finished with the YouTube video, so that's currently exporting, and then all of the other files for this video are transferring, and it says that's gonna take 35 minutes. So I might actually be done with work for the day. I was just hoping if I could record that TikTok that I would have an extra video prepared for tomorrow. I'm ready to go, so I don't have to worry about it, but it's not gonna be that hard to film. It's just like I gotta do green screen stuff. And I don't know how to do green screen on TikTok. I know how to do it on Instagram. I don't know how to do it on TikTok. Seeing myself in the viewfinder right now, I'm like, girl, you gotta call it quits. Stop staring at screens. It's about that time anyways. If anything, I might fold the laundry that's just sitting in front of me and driving me crazy. And tomorrow I'm gonna do a whole house clean. That's gonna be one of my videos, I think. My camera battery is flashing at me anyways, and I need to drink more water, and uh, yeah. That is my sign to go to bed. Do you guys hear that? Okay, good night.